Hello, I'm Simon from Focused All Day. I was asked to create a website design for a bakery. On the first day it launched, it got sales and it continues to get new customers and returning customers. So at the top of the website is a transparent header showing home from our bakery, about us and contact. When you scroll down, a solid white background appears and the menu itself, the logo, just ever so slightly gets sh smaller and it just helps the user to read what it actually says. So the home page was designed into sections. So you can see how the bakery make their bread, where they supply their bread, and there's a visual representation in terms of the picture or where they deliver it. The best sellers helps to drive more traffic to the pages and the products you want to sell, and social proof always helps to increase convergence. At the bottom, there's also a little button which helps you jump back to the top of the screen. So when I create a website for people, I like the idea of creating an About Me page because it really tells people, here's the story and here's the people making your product. So you can, you can supply me with a sentence or you can supply me with as much as you like. And instead of just having it in one big paragraph, I'll use different bullet points and sections and different headers just to keep breaking it up. On the contact us page, it's really important to have one of these on any website, especially an e-commerce one where you buy in fresh bread. You might want to quickly contact the store owner and change your order. And then on the actual menu, instead of just having bread, 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 I broke it down to all the different subcategories of bread and it just allowed the user to navigate to the correct part of the website. You can increase your quantity, you can see the description and if you didn't want to click into the actual item, you can just press add to basket, which I felt was a good feature to have if you're on a mobile phone, you want to just scroll up and down and you just want to keep pressing add to basket and you don't really want to be clicking into the pages well now you have your choice once you've added everything to your basket there's a little pop out which allows the user to see what's inside their basket or they can go straight to checkout in the basket they can delete certain items or add so once you've made your choice you can then pay by direct debit or PayPal. I appreciate you watching the video and if you would like me to make your website or your e-commerce website please head over to focusedalday.co.uk and I keep all my prices and how long it takes and loads of FAQs on my website because I believe in transparency and if you want to get on the phone and ring me please do so. Take care. Bye.